and uh, the connection between art and medicine. Hey, how's it going, everyone? So the day-to-day -day life of a medical student can be really taxing, and studying day in and day out can leave students burned out. But that's why we have art as an escape. Whether you write a poem, paint a painting, or play an instrument, you have the opportunity to create something beautiful. And that's what the Paul Society is about. It's to make sure that we don't forget the amazing talents that all of our students have. Yeah, just like Chris said, the Paul Society is an organization that we're kind of thinking of starting here, if you guys like the idea. It is just to provide an opportunity for students and faculty alike to showcase what they do in their off time, a subject around the humanities, or any kind of art from any culture. And um, the main goal of the organization is to just provide an outlet in what can be, and what you all know to be a really stressful environment, not just in education, but throughout a whole medical career. Um, and so hopefully, if you guys like this, we'll do more of them, just kind of like open mic events. Um, and we'll just talk a little bit about uh, the connection between art and medicine. I don't know if um, anyone's thought of that before, but some of the things we came up with were that um, art started off with, with this historic roots and with a really strong focus on the human body and anatomy. Um, and uh, medicine is all about the human body, and so um, both of them kind of create uh, ways we can perceive the human body differently, and so connect that way. Um, both of them uh, folk use a lot of our senses, mainly uh, sight and touch, to perfect uh, craftsmanship and skills that will progress in both professions. And then um, art and medicine both are kind of uh, cross-cultural. They don't really need a language to be understood by whoever or um, by a specific age. And, um, and so that's a few reasons we can appreciate both together. And in similar fashion, you know, when a, when a surgeon is asked to do a procedure, he looks at the problem and fixes it the way that he sees fit. It's essentially art. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci said, art is never, is never finished, only abandoned. So we're trying to make sure that none of us abandon the art that we create. Hey, thanks. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks, guys. First up, we have the second year class president, Wally Johnson, who will be reading a poem, or two poems, actually, uh, by Langston Hughes. So if you could come up here for a minute, Wally, and tell us why you chose these poems. So the first poem I chose, because I wanted to read something that, that meant something to me in middle school. And the second one, I actually wrote, and I decided to read it at first, but then Cecilia's instance that I recited after memory, so I'm going to try and do that the best I can. And also, as you know, this is Black History Month, this is an opportunity for us to come up together and celebrate at the same time. And also it's an opportunity to, for us to all see the art and creativity that we have dispersed throughout the law school of medicine. So take the opportunity to see the art outside of you have it, and just take the time to enjoy what we have to show you today. I'm going to start by reading The Negro Speaks of Rivers by Langston Hughes. I've known rivers. I've known rivers ancient as the world and older than the flow of human blood and human veins. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. I bathed in the Euphrates when dawns were young. I built my hut near the Congo and it blown me to sleep. I look upon the Nile and raise the pyramids above it. I heard the singing on the Mississippi when Abe Lincoln went down to New Orleans. And I've seen the muddy bosom turn all golden in the sunset. I've known rivers ancient, dusty rivers. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. It didn't begin with the underground train, but those were beginnings. 
sparks to a fire that could never be beaten out. But you know there was pain. Pain that burned hotter than the sun, mid-Sunday on the spring fields of Alabama that chipped away at our soul. But no too many lashes was enough to keep us inching towards our goal. Freedom without a place to be. That's what they used to say. But men like the boy and Douglas, they ascended. They shattered a ceiling that they didn't even know existed. Well, at least not for them. And then came the anger. Dark as the swampy waters of the Mississippi that tarnished our soul. But poor old Jimmy, he just wasn't strong enough to keep us stepping towards our goal. And then came men and women. Kings and queens that dared to dream. They set a new pace. They cashed a bankrupt check, and they showed us all that there's a new way. So you see, this dream, it wasn't caught in one blissful night of sleep. It took sit-ins, it took rebellion, it took a whole lot. It took backward steps then that became the forward steps for us today. Steps, steps that gradually slow. Days go by, years fade away, and the dream slowly abates. Kids no longer remember the story that matters. We forget the reasons for which we fought, and now we're fighting for all the wrong reasons. Sometimes I sit down and I wonder, when did we wake? When did we forget about the fiery soul that blazes down in the heart of Georgia, for it's too impressive to miss? When do we forget about the shoulders on which we stand on? So it's times like this, I take a seat, I just do this. going to uh, play a song, so uh, I guess I should say why I'm playing a song and why I picked it. Uh, anybody who knows me knows that music is probably um, a mild obsession <laughs> in my life and something I'm very, very passionate about. Um, and if you look at the history of music, at least throughout America, there's really no genre or area of music, music that hasn't been touched by African Americans, whether it's blues, hip-hop, rock and roll music. One of the most enduring traditions is uh, rhythm and blues. So I decided to play uh, an older R&B song. I'm going to play uh, Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers, and I hope you all uh, hope you all enjoy. Just give me a second to get set up. And if you don't know, Chris, this is actually magic, and we're about to come and get something. 